Oh, that is good. Wow. Mmm, delicious. Who would have thought? Human spittle. <laughs> wow. Do we have to mark it? Can we just start? Let's just go now, right. We, we don't have to do that or this or... Technically that counts as you doing it now. Right, let's begin. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. Of course, I grew up playing all of the Sonic games as a lot of the adults did. That already Were you good? Was I good? At it, at the Sonic game. Oh, I was awful. Really? It was too fast. How many me. levels did you get to? I was always on the, the first early ones. Really? I, as soon as I did I've the I've only it gotten to the third me. level, but I think I'm working against myself because I'm Robotnik, you see yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm really not motivated to get there. If anything, you want Sonic to fail. I ram him I'm right into the robot into over oh, and over again. You've lost more coins. <laughs> How does he go, sorry? <laughs> oh, I thought so, <laughs> yeah. But of course, obviously a lot of adults have done that. They grew up watching your films, they grew yes. up playing the games. That's so right. I think that's what makes this movie so great. I that, poisoned the culture. Yeah, yeah, that's what you, I, that's, that's what I had here. Yeah. Jim Carrey, yeah. poisoner, culture poisoner. People walk around with a bad taste in their mouth. And they don't know why. <laughs> it's me. Of course, it's it's a movie for adults and for kids. That's right. And I just wonder, how do you make your, your Maybe in sense? the other direction. <laughs> yeah, preferably kids, kids and adults aren't adults watching this won't game. Adults mind being that there. Sonic must be real, <laughs> I think. Yeah. yeah, so how do you make your sort of comedy accessible for both audiences? Basically, I, I, I shoot for the adults and uh, I got a smile in my heart for the kids, you know what I mean? I'm yeah, not doing nice. anything that's going to be outlandish for them, for, for kids, but uh, you know, I want to appeal to the to the to my contemporaries who come in to see yeah. whatever I'm doing. So, uh, you know, basically there's, I don't think, I'm not sure if there's a word left in the movie that I didn't somehow <laughs> yeah. contrive. Your physical comedy in this, it's mm -hmm. like elite Jim Carrey, like this is the Best oh, Jim cool. Carrey, like, I, I thought you were hilarious in this. That moment oh, when you're doing the whole dance-off thing. The dance is so much fun. They just said, here's the room, what do you want to do? Yeah, you know? Dark. And do I you... went, you know, it, first of all, the, the idea of there being a blackout in the middle of it where I have to go analog with a, 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 a Bic lighter to find the breaker, to yeah. turn all this fancy stuff back yeah. on, is really a fun idea. And uh, and there were a couple of moves in there. It was one I borrowed from Dick Van Dyke, uh, when uh, the old his old television yeah. show where he did this headless thing, walking around with no head, and then he turns around and his head is under his arm. Yeah. And uh, I I kind of did a tribute to him in that way in that in that moment, uh, and where the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex bites my head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> that all happens all in that, the Sonic film. All of that for Out some context, reason was able. It to... sounds mental. Exactly. Of course, there's been a lot of talk online already mm. about a possible Sonic Two. Oh, yeah. Would you be keen, if the story permitted, to reprise the role as Robotnik in a sequel? I would in a heartbeat, absolutely, because he has not yet fully evolved. He has not reached evil's apotheosis. Yeah, so in this film we don't see a lot of Sonic's like friends like Knuckles, Tails, Amy. There could be room for There's them. So in the many sequel. people, so so many characters yeah. ready to go. Yeah, out of the box, ready to ready to be unwrapped. We've already I'm going to have a little spittle now. Oh, treat yourself. Ooh. How was that? Oh yeah. They brushed their teeth. That's oh, good. That's good. That's more than I ever do. Mm -hmm. Now, who would you like to see cast in the role as, say, Tails or Amy Knuckles? Who would be your dream cast to work alongside with? Jamie Foxx's sister. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it's an odd thing because these voiceovers, it's like, you know, uh, you really, uh, you know, you don't know these people until the, the, the movie's put yeah. together and then suddenly Ben Schwartz just jumps He's out there. of nowhere. And, yeah. Oh. Did we work together? <laughs> <laughs> so, in this film, we also see a cute little baby Sonic. Yes. We see baby Sonic for the first time in a world of baby Yodas and baby Scooby Doo's. But you've also worked with another one of your baby characters, Baby Grinch. Oh, right. So, I want to put to like the master Grinch. of these, yeah. who is, in a, in a brutal, bloody battle of cuteness, uh -huh. who is cuter? Baby Sonic or Baby Grinch? Well, I think probably Baby Sonic because uh, it had some sort of nurturing. Mm. You know what I mean? Baby Grinch had nothing. No. Baby Grinch had nothing. I seem to play the characters. I had wonderful parents, but <laughs> yeah. uh, somehow I'm, you know, I, I'm uh, uh, magnetized to characters that are loveless in the world. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, uh, Robotnik is the the prime example of. Uh, 
like a like one of these billionaires that had no love mm. whatsoever and is creating the entire universe with his brand name on it, and uh, and you know he sees little Sonic and it's the, the manifestation of absolute divine play mm. and electric joy, you yeah. know, and freedom, childlike innocence and stuff. So I, I like to say that uh, Robotnik has a Sonic shaped hole in his heart. That's oh, right. that got me. That That's one did. Oh, Jim. bring it in here. Bring it in. Here. I'm worried. I'll let just... it go. Just oh, let it go. Tim, Tim. <laughs> Whenever you fall. Sorry. Wow. I'm worried. I also mooning. I'm that doing some James Blunt there. That. Yeah, that was that was deep, man. And now this film. You let your tears rain down on me. Oh God, Jim. I Woo wanted a lighter there. I wanted a lighter. That was yeah, nice. What's wrong with that guy? That was deep. Where is he? I, I don't did know. Did he disappear? I don't. Make, could be hiding James behind you, ready for his big return. He's in here somewhere. And this film comes out here on Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I want to go see it on Valentine's Day. I've already yeah. seen it, but I want to go on a special Valentine's Day date yes. with one of your characters, the Grinch. Oh, yes? I would just like to know from you, how would the Grinch wine and dine me as we saw the Sonic the movie on Valentine's Day? Oh, oh I'd be all over you, man. This might be the best oh Valentine's God. Day date I've me? ever had. Yeah, this is getting sick now. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, think... I don't like presents, but I would unwrap you in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. And I, I mean, I've got loads of questions, but what's the point what the now? Hell? Does it matter? I, I've, I've succeeded at life. I don't it's need just to molecules know bouncing around on a microscopic level. Me and the Grinch yeah. together now. This is the best Valentine's Day I've oh ever my had. Goodness, spittle. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to let you enjoy your spittle. Lovely. I'm going to go you. repopulate with the Grinch. Pleasure, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Love Sonic. Really All funny right. film. Oh, really great. good. Thank glad, you. Glad you liked it.